Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So we're back with part two of um, everything I've ever coloured and when pages go wrong. Now um, I've got a fair few to show you of pages that have gone wrong so I will mix them in with the ones that I'm quite pleased with and there are some ones that I'm proud of despite my video, my last video, part one. Um, and um, I have only been colouring for just over 12 months now and there has been a vast improvement so I do need to remember that. Um, but I did this video really to help others just to um, be aware that it doesn't just come straight away. Well it might for some people but it didn't for me. And you will improve. The more you practice the better you'll get. So let's just get straight into it or it'll be another horrendously long video. So I thought I'd start with the two Rita Bermans. Now if you followed my channel you will have seen some of these but there's there's quite a few in here that you won't have so let's get started. So this um, was an earlier works. Um, in fact it was the 11th 19. This is the world under the mag uh, magnifying glass I think. Rita Berman. And I am quite pleased with this, to be to be fair. Um, I think it would have been Prismas looking at the colours, but again, I pressed so damn hard that it's left indents on this side. But it, I'm still quite pleased. I think it came out quite nicely considering I was, it was an early, it could have been. Yeah, no, it was Prismas. Yeah. So I just found this today looking through them all and thought, oh God, I'd forgotten I'd even done that. So... You know, there still was room for improvement, but, you know, I'm, I'm still pleased with it. Um, where's the next one in here? I know there is one, which was a more recent, was this one. Um, this, you would have seen in the end of month colouring pages. This is a pan pastel background and black widow pencils. Um, I did this one, a nice, easy, simple um, picture to, to do. That's one of the reasons why I love Rita Berman, and I must colour more in her books, um, is because you can have the intricacy, let me try, see if I can find one, will I be able, of a double page spread like this one, and gosh there's a lot of work that needs to go into these kind of pages, or if you're not feeling it that day you can just have something as beautiful and simple as this but it's really effective. So that's this one, and then we did, or oh, I did this pumpkin, and that was shown in my video when I was tagged in the colouring scavenger hunt and I did this one quickly just so that um, all the pages I, weren't, I was showing weren't blank so this was a disastrous attempt at a stenciled background it didn't work out very well kind of blotchy and smudgy so I went over it with a little bit of chalk pastel the background is with a stencil and pan pastels and uh, this was Neo Colour 2 painting and it was all Neo Colour 2 painting but the leaves had a tiny bit of Prisma pencil work over the top so actually I thought it was quite effective considering you know it didn't take too long it's quite a nice piece what else have I got in here I think that might be it yeah I think so have I shown you everything in there I think so Yes. Right, let's move on to Linda Ravenscroft. Um, let's move these out of the way. I'm just going to make a space so that I can put them down. I need to reorganise my um, art room. I want to give you a little tour of my art room at some point if you're interested and just show you where it is that I sit and do all this gorgeous work. All these colouring, all these gorgeous books. So, Linda Ravenscroft, this is the book that I want to finish. And I'm pretty certain that you've seen all of these anyway if you follow my channel, but I just adore her books. And I'm still trying to get hold of book one. If anybody knows where I could get a copy, I would be most grateful because it's always out of stock on Linda's website. Okay, so this is mainly done with Neos and a little bit of pencil work, this book. So I use the palette board and paint it. So here's this one, this cheeky little elf stealing food from above. Um, in the entire thing is painted with Neos apart from this which was KJ, no, I think it was KJ Designs 
by Karen watercolour paint this gold goblet or the art spirits I can't remember I think it's KJ designs the sword is neo color to um, silver which I was quite pleased with actually because their metallics don't come out too well their neo color twos so that's that one loved this image and it was one I was terrified of because <clears throat> I thought I wouldn't be able to do it I'm so proud of this so proud of this picture I love it Okay, the next one in here is this one and I did her again she the skin and everything is painted is, the entirety of it is painted and then I think the only thing that's got pencil work in is her face obviously to enhance that uh, a little bit on her hair and the dress um, I think I'd said in my video when I released and the leaves obviously had a little bit of pencil work I said that it was polychromos that I did it with but actual fact on the back it was Neo's and Pablo's that I've done it with so I just they're adorable these pages absolutely beautiful I'm proud of this book which is why I want to um, to keep going and it, it, it to be my first completed book I hope and I did this one Again, Neo Color 2s and the tiniest of pencil work on her just to enhance the skin colour um, and in the leaves, but not much at all, actually. Very little, all painted with Neos. Same with this one. We did a colouring along. We did, we did a colour along with this one and I painted it with Neos. Yeah, it was a colour along painted it with Neos and we did, I think it was Polychromos, it was Polychromos pencil work with it and uh, K. Jane Des K. J. Designs by Karen's, no, or the Art Spirits, I can't remember it's either K. J. Designs by Karen or the Art Spirits paint and adorable so there she is, very 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 pleased with her, I love how she came out, beautiful and that's it for the gorgeous Linda Ravenscroft. Let's do another one that I'm pleased with. Um, where am I putting these? Down here. Okay, this is Fantasia. I managed to get a... Gosh, look at the glare. I do apologise. That'll move in a minute. There we go. There we go. Um, I managed to get a copy during lockdown. Um, it's the... This version. It came like a box set. So you get like a cardboard strip to put it in um, and then it's all loof, loose leafed, leaved even, which is why I've got the little bulldog clip over here. And the only one that I've coloured in here, and I like it, it's not a disaster, is this. And I copied the front cover to try and get the colours. There he is. Um, there. So Nick Filbert's work, if you don't know him, this book is absolutely outstanding. And a, and a varied style in it, to be honest. But very definitely Nick Filbert. Gorgeous. So I've done him. He's the only one I've done in it. The paper is very thin. However, uh, it took pencils beautifully. Uh, I'm trying to think what I did it with. I think it probably. Let me see. Is it is it shiny? I don't. It could be a mix of pencils, but there he is. I'm quite. Oh, there goes my clip. Um, and I'm quite pleased with him. Yeah, it's shiny, so it's got to have been wax. There we are. So that's Fantasia by the wonderful, wonderful Nick Filbert. Okay. Right, shall, we, shall I throw in a hideous one? Let's throw in a disaster. Now this, again, was a very, very early on in my colouring journey. And if I show you... Oh God, it's the worst page in the world. And the back, look, can you see all the transfer? All the transference. Let me move the light back. There's all the, and look how there, look. I don't know if you could pick up on that. Can you see? That is where I've pressed so hard I've nearly come through the page. 
and I've since, since learned actually it's easier to colour if you don't do that. Right, are you ready? This is the most heinous thing in the world. Oh God! There she is, the sea beacon. What a shame. So I think from what I see, yeah look, it's pastel that's not been fixed. Because I didn't know you had to then. I just, I mean in an early attempt the skin and her eyes aren't too bad. <laughs> she says, they're not too bad. And the hair for, for an early colouring, but oof. what possessed me to do this with the C2, I have no idea. Um, I don't know. But there it is. A disaster page. I don't know if I dated it. No. It was just colour it and move on quick by the look of it. Um, I did her. She was early, um, and as you'll see, like, you can tell through the sea, the blending on the sea, on her tummy down here is dreadful. No attempt to colour, cover her tattoo in any way. And the sword, man. So, wow. Well, yeah. Hair's quite good. Let's move that up. Hair's quite good, it's not bad at all. And the sky's not bad. Some attempt at blending. So there we are. And then I've always admired this. And when I did diamond painting, I always saw this image um, being sold in China, but I knew it was Jasmine's, and so I wouldn't buy it. I didn't want to do copyright. So I did this one. And this was, I think, the first one that I coloured in this book. I'm going to move that light again because it's just creating problems. And this is the whispered word. Did I introduce it? Jasmine Beckett Griffiths, a fantasy art adventure. God, I'm rubbish at this. There we are. And actually, you can, um, I would have said improvement, but this was, I think, one of the first pages that I coloured in here. And I, it's, I like it. It's not horrendous. There is, you know, obviously, there's room for improvement there. But actually, I look at it now and I think, you know, a few blending bits, but it's actually not bad at all. I'm going to have to cut off again um, and I'll come back in a second because I, yet again I haven't done my memory card. Bear with me one second. There we go. Sorry about that guys. All sorted. Oh, I need to get a bigger memory card because um, it will only like hold about an hour before it starts screaming at me. So there we are. Jasmine Beckett Griffiths and early learning pages that cripple you. But you can see you know the, the potential there. I think anyway so you know if you're thinking oh god I'm crap at this I'm never going to get any better bear with it because it certainly does <laughs> okay I must do some more in here now that um, I have a little bit more experience okay let's move on to the wonderful world of um, Anastasia Ellie Calder Riva and this was one of my first attempts at skin Oh no it wasn't, I'd lie. I li I'm a liar. Um, where was it? There, this was the first attempt at skin. And I love this page. She's very, very pasty. But I think she's beautiful. I think I've done a good job of blending in the hummingbirds and of the flowers. She was Prisma. Um, Perhaps now would have a little bit more depth, you know, in the shadows. But uh, I was so, so proud of her. And I still am. I, I, you know, I still look at... This was um, February 2020. So a really early attempt at doing skin. And I love her. I think she's beautiful. So a successful attempt. And I was terrified of colouring in this book. Then we've got... Oh, I've marked a page to do that. She's gorgeous, isn't she lovely? Uh, we did this as a colour along together. And this was... Um, her skin was basted with Neo Colour 2s. And then we went over with pencils to smooth her over. Um, I used a little bit of pearlescent paint to go over the shell. There is a bit of a sheen on there. Although, of course, my lighting's not going to pick it up as it should be. Um, and I had so much fun doing this. I loved it. Uh, and I wanted to do a deeper skin tone than I'd normally done. And I think that she turned out really well. She's lovely. And I'm very pleased with her. 
So that's that one. And the other one you saw there was um, a whip. And I started doing black hair. And that was when I did the tutorial of the black plaits. Um, and I thought I'd share it. So she never got... She hasn't been finished off. But I will because I am pleased with her. And I love the way her skin's come out. So, yeah. So I will finish her. She's a beauty, isn't she? So that's Mysteria. Um, Ellie Cold Arriva. Then we've got... <clears throat> Sorry, Anastasia Ellie Cold Arriva. I keep doing that. Millie Marotta's Animal Kingdom. Now, I'm not a massive fan of Zen Doodle, but this I brought these books earlier on, and I did um, these not long ago in um, and showed you in my completed pages. These, let me move it so you can get them both in. Um, I th I can't remember whether they're Prismas or Polys. They don't look shiny, so I'm not sure whether they're. Prismas but I'm really really thrilled with how he came out I think he's beautiful and um, we had a budgie that looked just like that um, and then um, I'm, yeah I'm okay with this one so these are quite recent but um, it was after the loss of Lily and I just wasn't up to doing much so it was a perfect page to get on with and that shamefully is all I've done in here I think yes then we've got Pop Manga and Other Mermaids. Now, did a flip through of, of Camilla D'Erico's new book and wow, I love it. I've already coloured a page in it that I'll show you at the end of the month. And I'm going to do a colour along in it, I think, if anybody wants to see that. Because it is the best book that she has produced, in my opinion. And it's just my humble opinion. And I did this one. And I love this. I love this page. I'm really proud of it watercolour background and pencil work so I think this is Prismas yes yeah, shiny um, and I love it I'm very proud of this one too so see there are some pages that I say oh it's okay you know that's not bad and this is one of them I like this page very much I like I don't know I just like her style of work so um, it makes it easy for me yeah I think that's it yeah, there's no other hidden horrors. And then we've got my my favourite, I think has to be all-time artist, is Christine Karen. And I emailed her last week and actually asked if I could use some of her images to do some more work with. And not only did she reply to me, but she subscribed to the channel too. And I almost wet my pants with excitement. It was amazing. So, um... I don't know if you'll be watching, Christine, but thank you for your awesome um, illustrations and books. And I'm actually waiting for Amazon to turn up with another one. So, um, what have we got? We've got a few in here. No, we haven't. They might be in my folder. But I did this one. I did this in March. Um, I can't remember what I used. I can't remember what I used. There's the original page. And then there's mine. And she's called Fern. Isn't she beautiful? And I love Christine Karen. I have to colour, I usually colour at least one of Christine's pieces each month. Just adorable. So that's um, the Grayscale Colouring Book by Christine Karen. Um, and you'll see some more of her. It features very heavily on this channel because I adore her. Then we've got Mr. Dobner's. Um, the Ink House. And I haven't fluffed up in here yet, folks. Not yet. <laughs> right, what have we got? Let's see. There's a page here. Oh, we've got France, Francois, the, the little froggy. And he is ink tense with a tiny bit of pencil, dry pencil work over the top. I love Francois. I think he's adorable and I think he came out really well. My hands were physically shaking while I was doing this because it's such fine detail. And my hands, if you know, you know, I have fibromyalgia and um, my hands are really shaky because of some of the meds that I'm on for other, other medical things too. And um, the more nervous or anxious I get about something, the worse it gets. So here's Herman. Herman the Herbic, Hermit Crab and his rich tea biscuit and his willow patterned plate thrilled to bits with him. I must finish his rope. I've never done it. 
I don't know why I haven't forgot about him or forgot about it or whatever. And then there is this gorgeous page. And I'm very pleased with this page. It, yeah. Ink tents again for the butterflies. And I don't do a lot of ink tents work because I don't feel very competent with it. I much prefer my Neos, and, and the reason I think that I prefer the Neos is because they are water soluble. So if you um, kind of mess up, you can kind of blend it out, get rid of it. Whereas ink tents dry permanently. They're Indian ink and they dry permanent. So if you fluff up, tough, 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 tough. Anyway, ink tents work for the butterflies and the little caterpillar guy. Well, everything, apart from the background, which was um, my new ink pads that I got for my birthday. And I was, I used that stencil that you saw earlier. And um, this was the first time I'd used it. And I thought, oh, do you know what, just go for it. And I was actually quite pleased with how it came out. I thought it looked really effective. And yet, still kept the page simple. So I thought it worked really well. So, are there, I'm whip, I've got a whip in here somewhere. Um... I'm going to do a video on whips and abandoned pages shortly, so, okay. Let's move on to Midnight Masquerade by the wonderful Hannah Carlson. Um, this is not my, this is her newest book, but not my favourite book. I, I like some of her older works. And I've only done the one in here, and I did this in the style of a 1920s showgirl. <coughs> Excuse me, I do apologise. I did a pan pastel background and I wanted to make it look like one of those images, you know, when it's really, really busy and um, like a television program will blur people out into the background. So I wanted to make it look, look like it was hustle and bustle behind you. And um, I hated this page until I'd done the background and um, it kind of saved it for me. So I don't like her eyes because I did it the same colour as her hair. Um, I wasn't happy with the blending on the feathers, and I'm moaning again, I know. But, um, actually, as a whole, I, I like the page. If I pick individual parts and start, I'll start pulling it apart, you know. But I think as a whole, I like the page. The paper is in here is much nicer to work on than previous books, I think. In my opinion, again. Um, when did I do that? May. I think this was coloured. So that's the only one, but um, I will be doing more in here. It is a lovely book, but I do prefer her other ones, I think. So that's that. Then I've got um, Beauty and the Beast. Right, so another page that I consider um, crap. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it to you. <laughs> so I did the lovely colouring and I was pleased with um, Belle and the Beast. And then, instead of getting pastels out, I don't know, I must have had a massive brain fart. I don't know. I went and got a giant Posca pen and painted it blue. Why? God only knows. Um, yeah, so I hate it. The rest of it, I love the Beast. I thought he turned out really well. Belle, the beautiful Belle, lovely. Roses, yeah. And then I go and fluff it up with, what is this? Do you know what I mean? You know, why? Just why? I don't know. But it's there and it is, um, I, and I had my chalk pastels. I didn't have my pan pastels, but I had my chalk pastels when I did this background. So I don't know what I was thinking, what was going through my brain. Um, so that is the only one I've done in this book and it is a beautiful book Fabiana Atanasio and um, she's got the new Enchanted Castles out in the uh, mythographic range she's the illustrator of those but it is the most gorgeous book so I will be doing more and the paper's lovely it kind of it loves the polychromos I have to say so that's that one then Coleridge Wild 3 I've got the other selection of books and I didn't show them in my um, all my colouring books that I have and I've never coloured in that poor little range they've been put away put to the side because um, they're they're compact for travel and they never got made into the video so I have to be careful because I want to keep one for my end of the month colouring pages 
I did her last month, you will have seen if you followed my channel. And um, pastel pencils. I'm pretty certain. Yes, it was pastel pencils. Um, and I was thrilled to bits with how she turned out. I, th I hope you're picking the colour up. Yeah. Ash blonde hair. Or just blonde hair, whatever. The little mice, how he came out. Everything. I love it. And I'm not doing backgrounds in this book. I'm leaving them bold and in your face. Right. I've got to have a secret flip to make sure that I'm not... Yeah, there she is. That's my new one. This was last month as well. I did her. She is pan pastels and pencil work. And I blended the pan pastels and did her skin a more of a um orangey undertone or peachy undertone should I say sort of working with the flowers. So I love I love this book. Absolutely fantastic. However, um I didn't introduce it again. Colourage Wild 3 by Emmanuel Collin. Outstanding book. It's on watercolour paper. Uh, well, 250 gram paper. Uh, you can use water medium in it very well. I did her. Um, and this is what I'm saying. Water medium works very well on them. This was all painted with Neos. The entire thing. And I love her. See, I can hear water running. Oh crap, bear with me, be back in a second. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. Honestly, I've nearly set the house on fire. Uh, I put pasta on before I came up to make this video for my tea. And I've forgotten, completely forgotten that I'd even put it on. And I thought, oh, do you know what, I'll make the video while I'm sat up here. So what I thought was running water, no, it wasn't. It was the burning of the pasta in the saucepan. Oh my god, I'm a disaster area. <sighs> anyway, I'm back. Yeah, so as I was saying, <laughs> now my house is safe. Neo Color Twos, and I adore her. She's gorgeous. Very, very pleased with her. Um, then I did. I have put tags in it, so I don't know why I'm flipping through. I did this little lady. Isn't she gorgeous? Um, I was very pleased with her first attempt at trying to do dark, much darker skin. And she's so pretty. She's such a pretty little lady. Um, and pencil work over the top. That's why you can see the sheen. It would have been Prismas. Because I know those pencils very well. So you know what sort of colours to reach for. The little bug that you can see shining there is the Art Spirits. Um, paint from the Art Spirits. And it's like an iridescent. So if you lay the bug flat and there's no lighting on it, you can hardly see him in her hair. But when you lift him up, he, there he is. And that's how I wanted him. So I'm, I'm really pleased with the page. It just, yeah, just love this book. Let's see, what else have I got? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay, so that is... We're nearly there, folks. Colourage Wild... Um, Emmanuel Collin. Um, Summer Nights. Love this book. Um, it's, got, it's got a few wax pages in here. So this one. Pastel background. Um, and the bluebirds. Very pleased. What 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 can I say? I can't remember what I did it in. I think it's polychromos. The lit, yeah, I think it's Polly's. Yeah, polychromos and a little bit of um, metallic gel pen. Yeah, there we are. That's that one. Oh, and pa a pastel background, sorry. So, yeah. Hannah Carlson's um, a great, I love it. It's refreshing because it's very different, her work. Um, oh, this one I did last month, and this was, um, I've had a crazy time with um, the Derwent Pastel Pencils, and I've been working with them to see what, what limitations they've got, and so far i found none. I brought myself an M&R sharpener, can you see? Yeah, M&R sharpener, and some replacement blades for it, because I was sick anyway of... Um, 
I had to, I had to, that's cutting into the page. I had a Derwent pencil sharpener hand crank, this one, super point one, um, and it's, it's great, but I kept thinking, well, why are my pencils in such a state? Because I treat them like liquid gold, and actually what it's doing is when it clamps the pencil, it was actually digging into the pencil, instead of just holding it tight, it was digging into the pencil and making holes, and I thought, well, I'm not having that wrecking my pencils you know I've worked hard and paid hard for these so um yeah anyway I digress this was all in um all in Derwent pastel pencils and I haven't yet found a um downside to them you know other than the fact that they they smudge but then if you put a piece of paper under your hand and you work from top to down to the bottom of the page from right to left or whichever way you are is not an issue and I love working with them so I've gone a bit Derwent and I brought some Carbothellos and they're just awesome I've gone a bit pastel crazy this month but it's nice okay um, there's another one at the back here oh yeah she was January so I was learning to get the shine on hair as you can see yeah sort of amateurish attempt at um, hair shine never mind um, well, the rest of it's quite nice she's okay um, not bad actually for a January picture I'm usually fluffed most most of them up but she came out okay I was quite pleased with her there we are so that's um, summer nights illustrated by Hannah, Hannah Carlson and then for any of you that follow my channel you'll know that this came to me late uh, dream res and um, I've messed up a picture in here I messed up a picture that actually the day it arrived and I was devastated because it taken me a while to get my hands on it but I can't show you because I ripped the page out in a tantrum full-on two-year-old tantrum stamping of feet and crying and ripped the page out and to make it worse it was part of a double page spread so I did this and I showed you in um, this month's last month's colouring pages hate the hand not enough colour or definition in it but never mind so I did that one and I think oh, there's a page highlighted here see this is the page look this side was the mermaid and it came off here and I messed her up so I oh I'm not doing this had a full-on tantrum and, and on off she went to bin land um, let me see if I can... oh no I don't think I've highlighted I love this page I like the trees in it so I've, I've highlighted that obviously because I want to do it beautiful book really thick paper nope no more in there okay we're nearly there folks we've got the mouse guard and I've only done one in here because, again, I was fearful of it. But, um, yeah, a discussion with Kenny in one of the lives. Kenny said, give it a go, Lucy. The book's really easy to colour in. So I did. And I did this one with Neos and Polychromos just to go over the top with some detailing. And I think he's a really cute little guy. Yeah, oh, look, I haven't coloured his um, the ring on his cloak. We'll have to finish it. Yeah, there he is. So, actually, guys, I'm thinking that that's it. No, it's not. It can't be. No. No, it's not. I'm being an absolute idiot. Okay. So we've got The Art of Nature, which is the book that's been requested for me to do a flip through in. Um, so I will get that up and I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry that I haven't done it yet so far. Gorgeous, gorgeous book. Um, it's um, illustrated um, by Vintage Botanical and Scientific Prints. So I'm not doing backgrounds in this. I'm going to keep it as is a, um, like, a like a reference book. And that's not me wrecking it, it's perforated. So yeah, I did this one. I'm really pleased with this one. Gorgeous. 
and I did this with polychromos. It took forever, but I do like him. It's very nice. That's a success story. So I won't go into too much detail on this because people have asked me to do a flip through of this lovely book and it is gorgeous. So I will do that. Then we've got um, Birds by Tim Jeffs. Let's take the binder off, which is a PDF I got from Etsy. And I did this one which I did with, um, now why the leaves are at the top there instead of down here, don't ask, I, it wasn't until I completed it and I sat back and looked, I thought, why? <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know, I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> this is um, pan pastel background and stupid stencil up here instead of maybe down here, um, and uh, Prismacolors. Um, and I copied the, or tried to copy the image on the front. And I think the colours matched up quite well, actually. Yeah, so I'm, I'm quite pleased with that one. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm not moaning. And then the start of my pastel fetish is this one. And we did this as a colour along together. Um, and I had emailed Tim Jeffs and asked if I could use his some of his work to do a colour along with you. And he'd agreed kindly, so that was lovely. Um, because he is a fantastic artist. This is um, Derwent Pastel Pencils and I don't know what we used in the background, I can't think, I know it was a colour wrong. I don't know whether it was just the usual chalk uh, blocks that you get, I think it probably would have been. But This was the start of, this is what kick-started my entire, hmm, what else can I colour with pastels? But isn't he just gorgeous? And I'm very pleased with him. So I must do more work in this one because it, it's just, there's a flip through on my channel of this. It is just the most magnificent artwork. I'll put him there because I need to put the spine back on. Here we go. Christine Karen, I told you there was more. Um, early one. I photocopy it onto my own cardstock. So there's the original image, and there's mine. I love her. Chestnut hair. Um, so she was done with, I think, Prismas. And that's the first attempt at trying to get sort of reflection here from the lantern. The lantern could have been a bit brighter, but hey-ho. Yeah, and then it would have been a pastel background. I adore her. I think she's lovely. Brown eyes. Just gorgeous. She is called the, the Fay Light Keeper, and I love her to pieces. She's gorgeous. Um, and then a lot of others. Ooh, when pages go wrong. There you go. A lot of others I've brought off her website, and they're in my um, are in my uh, folder. My camera's flashing at me again. What is going on? Okay, so. Nothing wrong with it looking at it now. This was I did it on the actual paper and actually as a beginner colourist to do it on this paper because it is Amazon print I think I've done pretty well. Uh, her hair, I love her hair. Um, and the skin's actually not that bad considering it's on this paper. It is a little streaky because it's hard to blend on it. And then I hated the top, the jumper, so I didn't do any more. That's just typical of me isn't it? So, that's the wonderful, gorgeous work from Christine Karen. Oh, there's another one. And this was me realising, actually, maybe it's not me, maybe it's the paper. Um, nothing wrong with her, but apart from the fact that I couldn't get any more layers or blending on, on there. So, give me two seconds. I'm just going to, Fair is Three by Christine Karen. I'm just going to try and figure out what my camera's shouting at me for now. One second. Sorry guys, back again. I don't know what was going on. I have some setting on my camera that was screaming at me and saying that I've got less than two minutes left to talk to you. So we were, yeah, we just flipped through the gorgeous Fairies 3 and seen those pages. Then I think this was my second colour along with you. Um, I got this colouring book and loved it, but again, Amazon paper. 
And we did this together um, and the pastel's wearing off on the background because I didn't fix it. I think I might have used a bit of... I don't even know if I used hairspray then. But we did this together um, and we used Prismas, I'm pretty sure. Can't even see that. I don't know if it's pastel's even showing. It was an orange colour because I tried to get it like that. So, gorgeous little book. And I loved every minute of that with you guys. It was lovely. So it's on my channel if you want to go back and have a look. It's probably a little bit cringy now, but I'm still pleased with that. Very happy with that image. Lovely little book. This is a very nice colouring book by Ellen uh, Jakari. I hope I'm saying that right. And then I got, when I was practising to do the colour along, I got Happy Hoppers at the same time. And not having any experience with Amazon paper, didn't realise that it, whoops, sorry. Didn't realise it wouldn't take water medium um, well, and it doesn't. But I, I did this one as a practice. And it has got, it's almost disappeared, the pink watercolour in the background. I gave up on finishing it off the background because it was so bad, the paper, but... There it is, and that's, um, that would have been Prismas, although it doesn't look shiny, but it would have been, I'm sure. But, yeah, so, another, there's a whole series of these little books, and they're adorable. There's flip-throughs on my channel of them. And there's another little book I've got, there was three of them at the same time, um, that I did of these. Then, oh my goodness, we've got so many pages. So we got um, Dragonology, which was also a um, colour along on my channel. Sorry, I'm really bad. Dragonology, um, and I couldn't, was saying, just says edited um, there. Dr. Ernest Drake's Dragonology, it says. We did this as a colour along. Prismas. Um, for the main picture and I used a stippling brush because it talks about having a, having smoke in the background to give that sort of smoky effect um, and that was I don't know I don't know when we did that I don't know if I've dated it yeah I did uh, April we did that in April together and another one I'm quite proud of I think um, I would have toned down the background having had my time again but actually the book gives you a description of the um, uh, dragon and this one being Dragosaurus, uh, Dragonsaurus Rex and it says that they went um, they blended into smoky backgrounds basically cut a long story short Lucy another gorgeous book Oh, and there is a flip through of this book on my channel also if you're interested it's just phenomenal um, there's two on Amazon if you look this book up and I have put the links in my channel under the flip through and the colour along I think one's a cream colour and one's a red colour they're both the same book just so you know don't make the same mistake I did ok jewellery box the lovely Hannah Carlson sticky tape because I've dropped it and smashed it in in the corner um, I can't see any paper. Oh, there is. There it is. So yeah, I did this one, and um, I was so so proud of this page. Um, but I'm not. I, I didn't like the background. It was splotchy, and um, I could have selected the colours better. I think to sort of make the page stand out. If you get what I mean, the colouring, but. Um, glitter, folk art, clear, grit, clear acrylic glitter paint and then I don't know whether it's polychromos or not I can't tell, I do apologise it would have been in my one of my um, March's colouring April's colouring pages so I'll, I'll say in there if you're interested what, what pencils it was I used yeah, so there's that one. I like that page. Actually, even though I hated the background, I like looking at it now. And that's it. I must get on with my Hannah Carlson's. I would really like to finish one of these books. Oh, fair way off yet. Daydreams. There's a few more in here. Okay. Here's an earlier one. 
and I followed Julie's passion for colouring um, for most of this. Um, needed a little work on the blending. I was still a little heavy handed which, which um, kind of burnishes the page before you're ready to finish. Yeah, this was the uh, January again. Um, but trying to blend, trying to get your colours to blend. And I uh, thoroughly enjoyed following Julie's. And there's a little bit of glitter pen on the wings. Thoroughly enjoyed following her video. She does the most outstanding work. She really does. She makes it look so easy. Um, I love this lady. Chalk pastel background. And I'm thinking... I'm thinking um, Prismacolors. So I get the hair's beginning to come there, look. A bit more of an idea, shall we say, of blending. Skin's st still a little bit washed out, but that's something I'm learning now. I'm still working on that. Being brave enough to add those dark colours in. But we're getting there, we're getting there folks. So there's that one. Is that it for daydreams? Yeah, gosh, I, I thought I'd done so much more. It's actually scary when you get your books out and you realise just how little you've coloured it in each of them. So Peter Pan. I did. This little guy, the sorry again, um Fabina, um Fabiana Atanasio, couldn't get my words out, this little guy and this started my collection of these books um, because this is polychromos and it really worked well on this this page. Um, i really pleased with him, I thought he looked really cute and a little bit of colour on his face for once. And then I did him, Peter Pan and Tink, not so keen on the black background. Um, it was a pit pen and it, it can you see there it's picking it up look you get some lovely matte bits and then you get this like sheen it doesn't make sense but there's peter and little tink oh she's got glitter on her wings is it picking it up i don't know if you can see but she does and i love this page it took forever but i was really pleased i was really pleased with how it turned out actually I'm just not happy with the um, black bit. The rest of it I love and I'm quite... Can you see? I can see the glitter on Tink's wings. I don't know if you're picking it up. And she has got colour. It's just subtle. Blue, I think it might be green or yellow and pink. So yeah, so that started my journey with Fabiana Atanasio. I love this book. I love all her books. Yeah. Peter Pan. Okay, we've got some disastrous ones coming up again. Let's flip through quickly. Let's flip through the ones that I am pleased with, which are the quick... You've seen them all before, but we'll do them quickly. It's my hair. I did for my sister. My sister has a tarot channel. Um, she um, is called Becca Talks and Tarot. And that's my lovely sister. Um... We have very different beliefs, but I, love, I like to support Rebecca in her beliefs. And um, so I did, uh, Becca's spirit animal is a hair, so I did this one for her. And she, this polychromos, and this was me doing fur. And she has it up, framed in her house. So, yeah. Isn't he lovely? He's gorgeous. Very proud of him. He is... She, she, uh, this is in one of my, I think it's Terry Shaman Artist does this from Etsy. And I showed this on um, my finished colouring pages one month and the links are down below there for that. <coughs> this was another colour along. This is, um, let me fold it over and see if I can get rid of that. There we go. Um, Jessica Rabbit by Mandy Manzano. And we did this as a colour along with Prismacolor pencils. And the only thing I didn't do with you on there, I don't know if it's picking it up through the plastic, but um, I added the clear, clear acrylic glitter paint 
to her to um <coughs> excuse me now i just want to make sure that i'm getting you in there we go yeah, sorry about that uh, just to make her dress even more sparkly but she's uh, a colour along along with the flip through to Mandy's book is on my channel uh, yeah I enjoyed her immensely for a cartoon character then we have this little lady um, I can't remember the name of the Etsy shop but again she'll be in the link in my colouring pages in April if you're interested in knowing where to purchase it and the link for her would be down below she's Prismas yeah and I've got some colour there going on on her face I don't know if it's picking it up but there is some definition there then our oh, beautiful Christine Karen this is um, good and evil um, and I just adore it he freaks me out a little bit because I've made him look a little bit more evil than he actually probably should have been but um, Aren't they lovely? Christine's images are out of this world and I adore colouring them. They're, they're just a pleasure. Yeah, so this was Prismas, I think, and some Polychromos. And then a little bit of Stickles to make the stars sparkle. Again, March, because this is in order, this book. My Beautiful Rabbit. Um, and I think this is Alina Lazareva. Um, and this was me doing fur with Polychromos. And I'm so proud of him. I'm not moaning. I'm so, so proud of him. I love him to bits. He's so cute. I have to remember to keep... I keep cutting the bottom of the picture off. I do apologise. Another Butte by Christine Karen. Watercolour background here. With a little bit of pencil work over the top. Um, I can't remember. <coughs> I don't know whether that's watercolour or not. But... Beginning to get colour there in the face. So that's that one. And then what I like to call is my grumpy donkey. I think he's a cheeky donkey or something. Terry Shaman artist again. Amazing at animals. And he, the minute I saw him, I just fell in love with him. He's so, that eat or face is just hilarious. Polychromos and maybe Prismas, I'm not sure. But would have been Polychromos to get his little wispy hairs in. Can you see? Yeah. Could do with a little bit of white accent more in his eyes to bring them to life a bit. A subscriber did point that out to me. But I love him. Then we've got Mystic Art Mirrors. Um, Elsa. She is polychromos with um, an alcohol base. A bit of... Um, you're not going to pick that up. There is glitter on there. I'm going to change. I'm going to do um, how to do a portfolio as well as a video, and put all these pages in there with you. I think because these are just such a pain in the butt. These um, although they protect the work well, it would be nice to display them in something else. I think so. That might be quite nice video to do together. This is from Elegant Beauties. And she, this is me starting with hair, learning to um, do the strands of hair and get the shine in it. And that this book is fantastic because it's grayscale, so it shows you where you need to, to do that. <coughs> I do apologise. Too much yakking. <coughs> so this would have been polychromos. And this is soft pastel because I keep the focus on the skin and the hair. Soft pasta with a little bit of pencil work for her clothes. Isn't she gorgeous? Um, I don't think there's any in here that I don't like. This is Sherry Baldy. It was just a little a download that I did. Quick, easy, chalk pastel background and she's Prismas. But isn't she cute? What a little cutie. Look at those little toes. Uh, yeah, and a little wilted flower. It's like we've been in the UK, it's been like... 35 degrees Celsius um, this week. It's cooled off today, but oh my goodness, what a killer. Our flowers were wilting, I can tell you. Um, oh my God, I can't think of the artist. I'm rubbish. I want to say... 
Alina Lazareva, but I'm not sure. Again, uh, May's finished pages and the description um, to buy this uh, from Etsy is in that. And this I did as a colour along with you, so it will also be in that description and the artist. This is Polychromos Skin and Hair, and I think it was Skin and Hair Made Easy. <clears throat> and the dress work is um, soft pastels with uh, pencil work over the top. And I'm so proud of this. I, uh, you know, for the amount of pictures you've seen, what I've coloured, I'm not keeping anything from you now. So for the amount of time that I've practised and I've done hair, I think this was phenomenal for me and I'm really really pleased with it I'm, I'm not you know I don't know what other people think but I am certainly very proud of this one and so there is a colour along of how I did this on my channel and I love it again a grayscale image so it helps you to get the detail in oh my beautiful Christine Karen again this is called Clover now I did um I did Neos in the background. Uh, I'm not sure because it's all crinkled whether I did more. Let me see. No, I'll tell you what, she's polychromos, and then I've just done the background in um, Neos. She's gorgeous. I love her. But then again, like I say, I'm beginning to get definition in the face. Some, you know, around the eyes and the cheeks, and I've tried to give her a little bit more of a cheek bone going on. Um, so it's coming, but a vast difference from where I first started, I think, anyway. Um, that's a Nick Filbert one. This I did um, with Polychromos. This is a photocopy. I sent the original to Simon. Um, one of my sister's best friends and a good friend of mine now um, and I sent the original to him which he's framed his spirit animal is also a hare because he does tarot um, but this was um, artistry by Lisa Marie on Etsy and um, this was May so if you look up if you want to um, the link for that it's in May's finished pages yeah artistry by Lisa Marie and that was polychromos she is a phenomenal artist and she does lots of animals um, grayscale images beautiful mystic art mirrors that we all know and the beautiful Cinderella she would have been polychromos and a little bit if I can see correctly a little bit oh yeah look glossy accents <laughs> Lisa's beginning to zing up her work yeah glossy accents probably a little bit too much but yeah Prisma um, not Prismas Polychromos and soft pastels soft pastel background I'm trying to there you go they're darling aren't they these images absolutely gorgeous I love mystic art mirrors I would like to have afforded to get the um, actual hard copy of the book but uh, oh, there are the ones for this month so that's in my little portfolio they're all the ones that I do that I buy from Etsy I keep them in there and I want to like I say make a nice portfolio to be able to show you um, I'm gonna save Mythomorphia no let's do it now let's just get it over with and bite the bullet okay Mythomorphia early colouring book um, there are some successes in here like this one um, this was early and I was outstandingly proud of how the roses and things came out Prisma colours um, this bloody light um, and then um, a glitter gel pen I can't, can I lift him up, can I lift you up slightly so we can get you more in, there we are, don't drop down again, there we go, and uh, yeah, loved it, and, and that's, that, this was when my love of Kirby Roseanne's really hit, adorable, 
Um, and although um, he's not grayscale, he does indicate shadow, doesn't he? So it um, really helps with your colouring. Right, are you ready for the most shameful? This is the worst picture I have ever done. And it pains me to have to show anyone. But I'm going to because it's part of my healing process. <sighs> oh, God! <laughs> it's not finished and it never will be. Um, this was pants, is all I can say, pants. Um, I had watched Dee Dee Williams do this very picture. Not Williams, sorry, Willingham. And I, I, why I've said that, I don't know. She's like my colouring hero or colouring yeah, artist hero on YouTube. And um, I tried to do the base with acrylic paint and go over with pants as well. Dee Dee would shout and scream at me now because she tells you um, that some to test the acrylic paint because some of them you can't, your colour pencils don't work over. And this is exactly what happened. Look. Oh, it's just hideous. Hideous. Look at the background. Ah. But, oh, look at the grass, man. Oh, my God. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> it's part of the learning process, isn't it? I don't know why I've got a wet wax paper there. I and mean, we certainly doesn't need that. Okay. And then there is another. Oh, another one. And this is me doing... <clears throat> trying to be clever and do acrylic backgrounds. And, yeah. <laughs> so, this is... I think he's um, the Sandman, isn't he? I think he's called the Sandman, without boring you all while I look, or Father Time, I don't know. And I was really happy with him, how he his skin and everything came out, I really loved it. And look what I've done to him, what an idiot. Look at it, I mean I'm sure acrylic paint would go back over that, but I've messed up, I feel, I feel that I've messed up the book so magnificently, I have a new copy. Yes. And I will be tackling it without hideous backgrounds. Uh, this one came out okay, and I'm very proud of this one. No attempt to do a sky. Let me like try and send. What's his name? The Kraken. <clears throat> and I'm still proud of him. He's Prisma colours. These would have all been Prismas in here. Um, very early on, and I don't know what it is with me and doing water in turquoise all the time. You know why I can't throw some blue in there, I have no idea, but um, yeah, I think he did, I think I did good for a, an early attempt. He's quite, he's quite actually well blended to an extent. Clouds are a bit crap. Boat's quite good. Yeah. So I can't criticise this book in its entirety, really. Can I? It's not that bad. So... Kirby Roseanne's Mythomorphia. And yes, I do have another copy. Worlds Within Worlds. Entirely happy with this book. Um, but I haven't coloured in it, sadly, recently. You've all seen this page of mine. Gorgeous flamingos. Neo Colour 2 background and prismas. Um, inspired by Colour with, Colour with Claire. Um, and the Neo Colour 2s have just got a little bit of pencil work over it just to smooth out any areas. A little bit of watercolour washed over the bottom seam to make it look like it's underwater and white gel pen just to uh, blank out the black lines. I'm really happy with this. There's not a page in here out of the three that I've done that I'm unhappy with. My Lion, which is... Um, when you click on my channel, that strip is, you know, the bit across the top. So he's polychromos. Um, with an underbase of neos. I love him. I think he's gorgeous. I'm very, very proud of him. Yeah. Come a long way, folks. I've come a long way. Um, and then there is... There is another one. Here he is. My dragon. There. Neo Colour 2 base. Because um, it helps me 
take away the stark white perfectness of a page and prismas so and I'm really pleased very very pleased with this page I love him I love the fact that I did him in blue and green because I started here and I was going to make him all green and I thought oh do you know what it's going to look a bit dowdy it needs some vibrancy in it so I stuffed in that lovely blue and I think it works really well so I'm thrilled with that I just adore Kirby I love his this is his best book ever because I don't I'm not a big fan of the doodles okay Folks, we have reached the end. This is the last book I'm going to show you and one of the first books that I had again. And it is hideous. Ready? Okay. <laughs> so this is a metallic paint and actually it's gorgeous. It's a cheap kids ready mix paint and it's really, really gorgeous paint. Um... And I decided I was going to paint the background. Um, and then I don't, I so long ago, well, it's a year ago, but I can't remember putting pasta on 10 minutes ago. So rubbed out a leaf. Because as I've said before, can't, I couldn't colour leaves. Still can't, still struggle with Prismacolor pa pencils. Um, so there's that disaster. What other disasters are in here? Let's see. Oh, come on, I know there's more. Yeah, oh Lord, look. This would have been right back at the beginning because this is the f uh, 15th of the 9th. So last September. And so I'd probably only been colouring a month, if that, by then. And I drew the login because he was just floating in midair. So I drew the login and it's just, it's crap, people, crap. But never mind. It's part of my recovery process. I must not buy more colouring books to replace the ones I have. I must buy new supplies. A lovely subscriber said that to me. If you're not replacing all these colouring books, think of the supplies I could have. And it's very true. So this is part of my therapy. I've pressed in so hard again. Oh, you can see that I have. You know, you can't blend. Couldn't blend because the page was burnished the minute I touched it. But yeah, there he is. What a disaster. Um, there's got to be more in here, surely. Or have I just, did I just die a death and leave it at that? Pretty much died a death and left it at that. Well, folks, if you're thinking, oh my God, I'm never going to be able to do it. <clears throat> my colouring journey has progressed quite a bit. I know they're two different artists, but there is a, bit of a difference and it can it can happen and it will happen if you just go with the flow don't be afraid um, and I another little trick that I've I'm, I'm using to help photocopy the damn page before I start so that I can practice what I'm doing and then I don't have to keep replacing the books I wanted to thank you so so much for all your lovely comments um, the ability to be able to share these pages with you has meant an awful lot and it's really therapeutic to to have the comments that i've had saying we all learn somewhere your pages you know they're not as bad as you think they are um, and all those lovely comments that you've had have made really boosted me and made me feel really good and to be able to share with you and i just hope that somebody out there has watched this video and they're thinking you know what i can do it too and um, you start to feel a bit better about yourself and overcome any of the anxieties and, and worries that you have um, because this should be a wonderful stress relieving hobby not one that creates anxiety so anyway I've rambled and kept you long enough I'm going to let you all go and go and sort my kitchen out <laughs> yeah from the burns in the pan and um, I will see you all very soon doing that flip through that I've said for the Art of Nature colouring book. Um, and then I'm going to do one, I think, on um, my works in progress and abandoned pages. That should be interesting. So I will. I'll see you all really, really soon. Um, so until next time, guys, take really good care of yourselves. Bye bye.